The antibody is generally consisted of the heavy chain and the light chain. The heavy chain is always the constant region, whereas light chains are composed of both constant and variable regions. The antigen binding sites are present in the light region, whereas the FC region, which binds to immune cells receptors, are present in the heavy chain region. The antibody can be a single molecule, such as IgD, IgE, and IgG. Or they can be a couple of molecules connected together, such as IgA antibody, or a cluster of five antibody molecules connected together, such as IgM antibody. Now we will have examples of antibody functions. Firstly, agglutination. Here, the antibodies form a large complex with bacteria. This complex neutralizes the bacteria and facilitates their removal by phagocytic cells. Secondly, antibody-mediated phagocytosis. The binding of antigens to the antibody activates the complement system linked to the antibodies. The complement system in turn works as a navigator for the phagocytic cells to the site of the antigen-antibody complex. Complement proteins activate the phagocytes which become eager to engulf the antigen-antibody complex and remove them from the blood. Thirdly, antibody-dependent cellular toxicity where antibodies attack antigens on the surfaces of the targeted cells. Then, the FC part of the antibodies binds to specific receptors on the natural killer cells. The natural killers do not phagocytose the antigen-antibody complex, but instead they release a group of perforating enzymes which ultimately destroy the target cells. This video is narrated by Hassan Nawab, medical student at King's College London.